This video is all about caring for your natural skin drum. If you have a conga, bongo, djembe, a shiko, any drum with a natural skin like this one, I'm going to show you how to clean it, how to care for it, how to condition it so it sounds good and it just gives you many years of performance and you can extend the life uh, and improve the sound of your drum head. All right, I'm Kalani Das. This is World Drum Club. Thanks for tuning in. And before we get started, please consider, you know, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications. And if you want to add anything after watching this video, please leave your kind and helpful comments below if you have any other tips or questions. Questions are better asked of me over at patreon.com slash Kalani. You can leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. What you need is very simple, very easy, but there are a couple things you need to know. So I'm going to go over all that right now. To clean the, the drum head, a damp cloth is what you need. This is 100% cotton cloth. It's dampened. <laughs> you just wring it out. Don't make it wet, you know, but just damp cloth. Go ahead and just wipe down the drum head. If it is super gunky, and this one is not, this is not gunky, but I'm just showing you what to do, of course. Um, you got a little bit of dirt there. I don't know if you can see that. But if it's if it's really gunked up, then what you're going to do is sort of combine step two and step one together. And what I mean by that is you're going to get your hand lotion. Now, this is some hand lotion. This is from L'Occitane. It's very high end. It doesn't have to be expensive. What you want to do is try to find some natural hand lotion, unscented, uncolored. If it has lanolin in it, my Former teacher Jerry Steinholtz used to always say, get hand lotion with lanolin. Lanolin is an oil that comes from sheep's wool, so it's an animal oil, natural oil. That seems to make sense, right? We're putting it back onto an animal skin. Take some oil, or take some lotion, and just take a little bit, a couple squirts, all right? So I've got this much. Uh, you can rub it into your hands first and then you're going to rub it on the head. And like I said, if, if your head is super gunky, you can just go straight to this step because you're gonna use it, you're gonna do these in combination. So just spread the lotion all over the head. It can be more than uh, is absorbing. This is actually kind of absorbing and disappearing pretty quickly. But um, you're gonna leave that uh, for hours. Now, if you have a djembe, I would not advise leaving it a long time because djembe skins are very thin and you could end up softening the head. We're not trying to soften the head. If you have a djembe and it's tight and you put lotion on it, that could be a situation where it soaks too much into the skin, it loosens the skin, makes it soft, and it rips. All right, so I don't want to make you paranoid, but I wouldn't leave the lotion on a djembe skin for a long time. You could leave it for, you know, 20 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then wipe it off. For the congas, bongos, uh, ashiko, any drum with a thicker head, like this one, put a, a fair amount of lotion. You can, you can slather that on. It doesn't, you're not going to hurt it and then leave it, I would say just leave it overnight or several hours, uh, whatever you want to do. Then, I'm going to rub this in my hands because it feels good. <laughs> then you're going to come back um, and then just clean up the excess. So back to our damp cloth. Uh, you know, don't use any cleaners or chemicals. Never put anything with, you know, a lot of certainly not ammonia cleaners like table cleaners and counter cleaners. Um, and then wipe it off. Wipe the excess off the next day or whenever, later. Just, that's all it takes. Boom. Done. And, um, and you're good to go. So just treat your drums to that. I would say if you feel like your drum heads are dry, um, and, and everybody's different, and every drum is different, every environment is different. So if you live in a humid environment, you probably don't have a lot of problem with your heads drying out. But if you live in an arid environment, drier head, drier air, drier skin. Um, you want to do that a couple times a year, I would say. If you have dry hands, your hands are going to be pulling moisture out of the head as you play. Some players have drier hands. Some players have, you know, like sweaty or oilier. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Sweaty, oilier hands. And you might even be putting moisture in or oil in, but then that's when they get kind of gunked up. So uh, you have to decide, but I would say minimum once a year, condition the head, maybe every six months, you know, it's not gonna hurt. 
clean the head off, put some good quality lotion in there, lanolin, and use a damp cloth like this, and you're good to go, all right? You can do that with your bongos. You don't have to do the underside, just do the top side. And um, if you have anything else to add, you have any tips or advice for people related to this video, <laughs> put it in the comments. All right, this is World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das. Thanks for stopping by. Consider joining us for more at patreon.com slash Kalani and kalanimusic.com if you'd like to reach me. All right, thanks for watching. See you in another video.